Today's project is based on the seven elements of art. Our focus is the element of shape. In art, there are two types of shapes, geometric and organic. Geometric shapes have perfect measurements, meaning a square will have perfect sides that are equally the same. So in many cases, geometric shapes have very straight lines. On the other hand, organic shapes have curvy edges that are unequal in length, so the measurement isn't perfect. Here's another diagram that shows the difference between geometric and organic shapes. Again, geometric shapes tend to be straight edged because of its perfect measurement. The circle that you see here is a perfect circle, making it a geometric shape. Our project today will be based on geometric art. Here are some examples of geometric art. Notice all the straight lines that give the image a very unique look. Here's the final look of our project. I chose a pineapple for my subject, but you can draw any other fruit or shape that you like. And here are the materials that we need. To start, I'm going to draw a very rough sketch of my pineapple. The shape of a pineapple is very organic. The lengths of all the sides of the shape are different and are imperfect. Once we're done with the organic shape of the pineapple, we're going to convert it to a geometric pineapple. Taking a ruler, we're going to create straight edges all around the base of the pineapple. Our round pineapple base will now have edges and very slight corners. As you go around and create these straight lines, Try to stay near or close to your original organic line. We do the same thing creating these straight edges for the top of the pineapple. Now that we have the outline of our geometric pineapple, we're going to go inside the space and create more straight lines. The rule of thumb is to create triangles, but you will also notice that I have some shapes that have four sides. Another great tip is to create lines that come from the corners. Now that we're all done with our lines, we're going to go in with a black marker to outline everything. I'm using an expo marker because I like the straight edges of the tip. Also, it is thick enough that it creates nice, dark, bold lines. I'm also using my ruler so that I can create nice, straight edges for my pineapple. Once I'm done outlining, I go in and erase all of the pencil lines so that my image will look nice and clean. When we color, we're going to start with the lightest shade of our color. Then, choosing one of the corners, you're going to create high pressure coloring, making sure that it has the darkest layer of coloring. And as you reach the opposite side, you're going to lighten up your pressure to create a medium shade. So when you're finished, you should have a gradient going from darkest to lightest. Here I'm using my next color. And the process is the same. Our first layer is the lightest, then choose a corner or a side for your darkest color, and then your medium right in between the light and the darkest. Now you want to continue this for all the shapes inside of your object. Getting the gradient going from darkest to lightest will take some practice, and I hope at the end of this project, you'll have an easier time doing so. Once you're done, please share. I would love to see what you have done with the project. Have fun, and I will see you next time. Bye.